6 on KC24. Join me as I take you on a tour of the people and places that made history right here in our backyard. This week, a town named after a body of water that no longer exists on the map. Brought to you by the Fresno County Historical Society. Fresno Lexus proudly supports tonight's first segment of local news that matters. Fresno Lexus. Lexus, the relentless pursuit of perfection. KC24 News begins with your forecast first from your local weather authority. I'm Chief Meteorologist AJ Fox. Temperatures are in the 80s through most of the valley, dipping into the 70s now in Madera, barely. 81 right now in Fresno. Our live radar does show we still have a little activity over the mountain areas. Isolated showers and a couple of thunderstorms have prompted a warning. It was mainly to the south and outside of our viewing area. This is a view from our valley cam at Herndon and Palm, and you can see some of those clouds that have developed into some isolated thunderstorms over the Sierra Nevada. We'll call it mostly clear pretty much the entire weekend. We're going to keep high temperatures in the 80s. Monday will be the the warmest of the week and we're going to be threatening 90 degrees in a lot of valley spots after that we'll start cooling off next week i'll have your complete forecast coming up kc24 news at six starts right now kc24 local news that matters this is kc24 news at six and good evening and thank you for joining us i'm stephanie berugian We've got some breaking news now. Fresno police arresting this woman, 26-year-old Dominique Jones, for the tragic murder of husband and father, 38-year-old Gilberto Gutierrez, who was shot outside Yule's Place Bar in Fresno early Sunday morning. Our Ben Morris joining us live from the Fresno Police Department now uh, with more on what led to that deadly shooting. Ben. Stephanie, Fresno police uh, say, excuse me, Fresno police say Dominique Jones was taken into custody, uh, leaving her home today without incident. And they say she pulled out the gun and fatally shot Gilberto or Gil that morning. And uh, Gilberto's wife, Cynthia, tells us that the couple, both photographers, had just finished up with a wedding shoot nearby when they decided to head to Eels for a nightcap with family and friends just hours before the shooting. And Fresno police say there just before 2 a.m., a heated argument broke out between Gil's group and Jones group right outside the bar. Gilberto rushed out to try and de-escalate the situation when police say the fight turned physical and that's when they say Jones pulled out the gun fatally shooting the husband and father. The entire exchange caught on clear video. We had video evidence from uh, adjacent businesses, uh, the smoke shop, and from Ewell's uh, bar itself. Uh, the video is high quality. I can tell you that the video uh, depicted the, the entire evolution uh, from the beginning all the way until the shot was fired. And then the subsequent event of where the individuals fled on foot. Now, Dominique Jones' case has been sent to the Fresno County District Attorney's Office, where police believe she will be charged with murder. But for now, reporting live here in downtown Fresno, Ben Morris, Case 24, Local News That Matters. Ben, thank you. The Reedley Police Department has identified the suspect caught on video kicking and killing a guinea pig earlier this week in Reedley. Police say the suspect, a 12-year-old boy who lives in the area. Catherine Phillips joining us in the studio now with how this case is going to proceed. Catherine. Well, Stephanie, the police chief says because the child involved is so young, it really limits what they can do in the case. And he says right now they're still figuring out the best way to move forward. This shocking video shows something unimaginable. A suspect who today was identified by Reedley police as a 12-year-old boy comes into this yard, chases, and tries to kick the family's chicken. When the chicken runs off, he goes towards the guinea pig cage, lifts it up, and kicks the guinea pig twice leaving the animal to die. We spoke yesterday with Oswaldo Sandoval, the guinea pig's owner, about what happened. Uh, at first I was just mad. I just, I, was, I didn't know why they did it. I was kind of in shock too. Police today only announcing they've identified the child involved. And so far, he is not in custody and no charges have been pressed. The Reedley Little League confirmed the child involved was one of their players, and they issued this statement saying they hold their players to the highest standard of sportsmanship on and off the field. While unable to speak with us on camera, Chief of Police Joe Garza says the behavior in the video is really concerning. However, because the suspect is only 12, he says it's not as straightforward as an adult case. Garza says they're meeting with the Fresno County DA's office in the Kings Canyon Unified School District next week to figure out the best way to move forward. 
forward. The district says they are working closely with police and don't have any other comment at this time. In the meantime, many moved by the story have reached out to our newsroom wanting to help Oswaldo. The O'Neill family breeds guinea pigs and they say they want to give Oswaldo a new pet. They learn to love each other and once they're together, they're bonded. And I've had some where, you know, when you lose one or one dies from old age and they can get very sad, they get depressed. District Attorney's Office says they have not received the case. Live in the studio tonight, Catherine Phillips, KC24 Local News That Matters. Catherine, thank you. A bill to make more rental housing available to tenants with pets is awaiting a vote by the full state assembly. The bill would ban blanket no pet policies and prohibit landlords from charging tenants extra for having pets. Some tenants are forced to surrender their pets to shelters, but property owners say they're worried about property damage and liability. A push to ban plastic shopping bags at stores across California, one step closer to becoming reality. A recent bill under consideration would ban the use of thicker reusable bags made out of recycled plastics and would instead require stores to provide 100% recycled paper bags. Lawmakers say the thicker bags end up in landfills, but the plastics industry says the bill would eliminate jobs. The Environmental Protection Agency says the amount of grocery bags thrown out in California has grown grown 47 percent in 10 years. The bill is headed to the Senate Appropriation Committee for consideration. <music> Neighbors across the street from the site of the new Costco off Herndon Avenue and Riverside Drive are furious after the Fresno City Council voted unanimously yesterday to improve construction of the 200,000 square foot store. Our Rhett Rodriguez joining us in studio with more on the neighbors reaction. Rhett. Well, Stephanie, while the store may be convenient for shoppers, neighbors say it's a nightmare, and several are now considering leaving the area. I mean, who does want it to live right next to 900 parking, which will be crowded no matter what? It's Costco. It's not any other store. Manny Singh lives across the street from the new Costco location off of Herndon Avenue and Riverside Drive. Singh spoke to us back in March when the Fresno City Council was weighing the decision. There was no point to live here anymore. After yesterday's unanimous vote by the Fresno City Council to approve the plans, Singh is now considering selling his home. Oh, uh, the privacy going to be gone. Uh, the crafting going to be enormous. Uh, pollution going to be enormous. 900 uh, cars going to be idling. Diesel going to be idling. Today, I spoke with neighbors who didn't want to talk on camera but say they have similar feelings and are also considering moving. Costco will help pay for upgrading roads and intersections in the neighborhood. The company will also have to pay for several high visibility crosswalks in the surrounding area and pedestrian islands. There are members in the community who support the new store. Central Unified School District wrote a letter ahead of yesterday's vote to the Fresno City Council advocating for the new store. Shoppers at the Old West Shaw location say it's time for a new store. A big is better, you know. They ha they'll have more stock, more different uh, variety of things. And uh, it's a good area up there. It's wide open, you know, to the freeway. Construction will begin in the fall and is expected to be completed in the summer of 2025. Reporting live in the studio, Rhett Rodriguez, KC24, local news that matters. Thank you, Rhett. Vintage days underway at Fresno State as the university celebrates 50 years of that festival. More than 50,000 people expected to turn out to vintage days over the next few days. Apart from food and games and vendors, students involved with the event say it gives them a chance to show off their crafts and raise money for their respective clubs and organizations. We're just trying to raise money to be able to do more networking events, to be able to do more workshops so students can benefit from it. Not only is it important for us for fundraising, but it's important to our community just to be able to get together and just have a stronger bond. And uh, Vintage Days wrapped up already for today, but it'll go again tomorrow and Sunday from 10 a.m. until 5 p.m. The Fresno Police Department welcoming new officers to its ranks today after a swearing-in ceremony this morning. Take a look. Raise your right hand. <clears throat> Do you solemnly swear to support and defend the Constitution of the United States? 
two officers were sworn in today alongside other police professional staff like dispatchers and park rangers. That brings the total number of officers with Fresno Police to 878. Fresno Police Chief Paco Balderrama says with more officers joining the department, the community will be safer be focused on auto theft, uh, organized retail theft, um, catalytic converter theft, and we're already seeing some declines in those areas, uh, but, but also just uh, being able to quickly investigate crimes. Even with the new officers sworn in, the Fresno Police Department is still short of being fully staffed with funding for 926 officers. And if you are commuting through Southeast Fresno, there could be some delays near Tulare and Clovis Avenues. Starting Monday, Tulare Avenue just east of Clovis will be closed for improvements. Northbound Clovis Avenue will be reduced to two lanes north of Kings Canyon Road. And during construction, drivers are asked to use Fowler Avenue as a detour. The closure is expected to last through May 16th. Still to come on KC24 News at 6, some new additions coming to the San Francisco Zoo. San Francisco is an international destination and the gateway to the Asia Pacific. How these new zoo critters are actually a part of a diplomatic mission. So coming to California, it kind of catalyzed that like, okay, I can start with little small adventures even though I can't go abroad right now. So that's what I started with. And coming up on KC24 News at 6.30, a local travel vlogger shares her journeys around the world, how moving to Fresno kicked off the beginning of those adventures. Your other headlines for tonight. The unusual warmth continues through the weekend. A lot of sunshine. Temperatures will get close to 90 on Monday. Then things turn around. We'll start getting cooler next week. Your four-day allergy forecast. That stays in the high range through Tuesday. And we're looking at uh, oak, birch, and poplar as predominant pollens. And I'll have your complete forecast as KC24 News continues. When you tune into KC24, specifically to KC Sunrise, you're going to laugh at some point, and we're just going to let you know that things are going to be all right. We have a lot of hardworking people in the Central Valley that are very talented, gifted. I am trying to take up golf. I think I'm an amateur. Usually just play about nine holes or so. My favorite thing about being a news anchor in the Central Valley, you kind of get to help out people plan their day. We kind of know at the end of the day, things are going to be all right. Things are going to come together. It'll take a little while, but we'll get there. I'm attorney Jonathan Pena, Fresno's only board certified social security disability attorney. Have you been denied your social security disability or SSI? We can help. If you cannot work due to a physical or a mental impairment or have a minor with a severe impairment, call our office at 439-9700 for a free consultation. There's no fee unless we win your case. Let us fight for you. Call us. We're here to help you and your family. Call the law office of Pena and Bromberg, 439-9700. Charger and Challenger, two icons created to own the road. Get yours today and save during Dodge Power Shot Days. Are you smiling because it's Ram Truck Month? Oh yeah, of course you are. Ram trucks are designed and built with style, toughness, and character. Get 10% off MSRP on a new 2024 Ram 1500 or get up to 9300 off MSRP on a new 2023 Dodge Challenger GT. Family owned and operated. Fresno Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram Fiat. Now your centralvalley.com pros who know. Adopting a cat or dog can be a 10 to 20 year commitment, depending on the species and breed. Make sure you adopt a pet that will fit your lifestyle and home environment. For more expert advice, go to yourcentralvalley.com slash pros who know. You're watching KC24 local news that matters. Now, AMS certified chief meteorologist AJ Fox with your local weather authority forecast. Temperatures are still running well above average in the morning and in the afternoon. We started at 59, where average is 51, but our afternoon high got to 83. Not quite 10 degrees above average like we were yesterday, but just a couple of degrees different. 81 in Fresno, 84 in Hanford, 79 now in Madeira, 83 in Visalia, Porterville, 82, another 83 in Lemoore, and 80 currently in Merced. This is time-lapse photography from the camera on top of our building from sunrise, although the sun was at the point in a different direction from this camera, but our skies were clearing throughout the day, and so as the sun is getting ready to go over the horizon in the next couple of hours, it is getting a little bit later into the day, sunset, I mean, we're seeing all this clear skies over the 
valley, but over the mountains, we're seeing some clouds have developed. This is also time-lapse photography that we get the images from Yosemite, Yosemite Conservancy. Watch the snow during the day just continue to shrink away. That's the springtime activity that we do up in the mountains. We're looking at the live radar. We see a couple of areas of cells that are now starting to collapse. Still some showers, not as strong as they were in Fresno County and even down into Tulare County. There were some cells that were passing into to Kern County uh, from uh, as well and over towards the Mojave Desert. But for us, it's been pretty mild on the valley floor. Now we've got stronger high pressure that's coming back. That little weak wave came through and has gave, given us a little bit of cloudiness and a, a couple of isolated showers. That'll all clear away. And then the following day, we're going tomorrow, we're going to see another wave come in and give us a little increase in clouds. I can't even call it more than mostly sunny on the valley floor, but there is the possibility of seeing an isolated shower again over the mountain areas, highest elevations only. As far as temperatures are concerned, we're going to be still on the warm side. 53 in Corcoran, 54 for Visalia, Selma 55, same in Colinga, 52 for San Joaquin and Madera, 45 in Yosemite, 52 in Merced, 51 for Los Banos. High temperatures will be mid 80s tomorrow, 84 in Merced, 86 in Mendota, Selma 85, 76 for Dunlap, 86 in Hanford, Kettleman City, to Larry 85, 84 in Porterville and Pixley. And our air quality, that's going to be in the good to moderate range. We get some good air quality in Merced County and again for Sequoia National Park, most of the valley in the moderate range though. So your solar forecast brought to you by Lee's Air Plumbing and Heating, high numbers through Monday, very high numbers in fact. Clear tonight, 58, that's still above average, so is a high of 84 for tomorrow. Even though the breeze picks up in the afternoon, when those thin clouds come in, those two things will kind of come together. And then we'll see temperatures start to turn around after we climb all the way up to 88 degrees on Monday. Then we'll turn things around. We'll have a good drop in temperatures on Tuesday down to 80. You'll notice that. And then dropping down to 75 and continuing the drop, not as dramatically, but still in that lower direction. We're going to be back into the lower 70s towards the end of next week. I do think we are going to stay dry, uh, and that'll take us uh, into Rodeo Weekend. Your regional forecast is available on our website at yourcentralvalley.com, so please go check it out there. This is now the time of year when everybody's starting to do lots of outdoor activities. We have vintage days this weekend, rodeo the following, right. and so it just, and then there's going to be farmer's markets like crazy all over the yeah. place, and so it's so turning I into say spring. if it's going to rain, do it during the week, not on the weekend. You know, <laughs> it almost never worked out that it way. Didn't, it didn't work out that way for not the last recently. couple months, yeah. for sure. All right, well, this weekend's going to be nice, yes. AJ. Thank you. A reminder for nature lovers, starting tomorrow, people can enjoy some of the best views in the country for free during National Park Week. In celebration, entry fees will be waived at all 429 sites within the National Park System, including all nine of California's national parks. Every day of the nine-day event will have a special theme such as Earth Day on the 21st or Junior Ranger Day on the 27th and this goes from the 20th till the 28th. Time to check in with Scott Bemis. Scott, what's coming up in sports? Steph, coming up, we got some thoughts from the Bulldog baseball coach about the incredible legacy of the late Inman Perkins. And Bulldog football holding its second scrimmage of the spring today. Some video on the way next in Sports Central. Tonight. It's a horror movie that is your life. Two unsolved murders, the clue that took decades to find, and the arrest at the ends of the earth. Was he just waiting for that knock on the door? Dateline tonight, 9, 8 central. You are the master manipulator. Oh! You're the I biggest deception not... artist what here. Man? The biggest offer in dealer no deal history. Go! This is war. Dealer no deal island, Monday on NBC and Peacock. KC24 asked you to nominate remarkable women in our community. We recognized the incredible accomplishments and extraordinary efforts of our four finalists. We congratulate our 2024 recipient, Nina Clancy, as she attends the national celebration in Los Angeles. I am honored, and I can hardly wait to continue to work in my community and also in the world. Thank you, Northern California Honda dealers and Closets by Design, and all of our remarkable women. It's liquidation time at Epic RV. Now through April 31st, save up to 60000 on toy haulers and travel trailers. Top selling manufacturers and floor plans. Great financing options. And trades welcome. Only at Epic RV. On Highway 41 next to Valley Children's Hospital in Madera. Sequoia Regional Cancer Center is Visalia's premier destination for cancer treatment. 
With experienced doctors and the most advanced technology available, you'll get some of the best cancer care in California. Visit online to learn more. KC24 News is brought to you in part by Cahuilla Health. Men and women both face factors that can impede normal hair growth and trigger hair loss. Well-Rooted Hair and Scalp Clinic has helped thousands of happy patients address hair loss and scalp disorders. Book your free consultation and get your hair loss under control. Scan now for details. Now, Sports Central, presented by Toyota. Buchanan alone, Kevin Chappell had a wild couple holes today at the PGA Tour event in the Dominican Republic. He had a rare double eagle, an albatross, a two on the par five fourth hole, but then followed that up with a triple bogey on the next hole. He missed the cut by nine shots. The news a little better for Clovis Westcraft Peter Quest. He shot an even par 72 today in the second round. He made the cut on the number. It's going to be a special weekend of baseball over at Fresno State. The first place Diamond Dogs are hosting San Jose State for three games. On Saturday, it will be Bob Bennett Day. And tonight, they're honoring superfan Inman Perkins, who passed away a couple weeks ago at the age of 83. Yeah, I mean, somebody that over 50 years of their life was in the stands at games, leading cheers, and whether on the field, coaching the base in the dugout, you'd, you'd hear him and see him, and uh, the joy he brought to fans, and he's part of the experience. And there's so many people like him that have been, you know, the best fans in college baseball here at Fresno State that Inman was such a big part of. And so um, it'll be fun to honor him on Friday and, and his legacy and hopefully continue forever, really. A planned moment of silence and a moment of cheer involving his family just a couple ways. They're honoring Inman tonight. Hey, Bulldog softball also in action this evening, as was water polo earlier today. The ninth-ranked Bulldogs getting a win at the Aquatic Center. It's Ashley Williams who scored that first goal there. Then later on the break, it's Abby Simhauser finding the back of the net. The Dogs win 10-5. Fresno State will host Senior Day against Santa Clara tomorrow at 1 p.m. Finally, the Fresno State football team holding its second scrimmage of spring practice this morning. Hey, man. Barry Day. Got a scrimmage. Y'all come out. Come on. Come, on. come, on. come with me, man. Unfortunately for us, Malik, our cameras aren't allowed to shoot the live portions of practice. But the Fresno State football Twitter account did tweet this out from that second scrimmage. A beautiful connection from redshirt freshman QB Jack Jacobs to junior receiver Antoine Sullivan. Coach Tedford saying the energy this spring has been great, and we saw an example of that at the end of today's scrimmage. JB, what are you? Ah, put on board! 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 Win! You know, that gets me pumped every time. Just a reminder, the Spring Showcase is going to culminate eight days from now with that Spring Showcase at Valley Children's Stadium. That event will begin at 12 p.m. next Saturday. It's open to the public if you want to check out the dogs in person. I'm Scott Bemis, and that's a look at sports. Kids in school bus accidents tossed around because they didn't have seat belts. Wait till you see what happened to them. There was just glass everywhere, blood. Next, Inside Edition. Inside Edition, tonight at 7 on KC24. Your Broadway wishes granted at Disney's Aladdin. Audiences and critics agree it's exactly what you wish for. Don't miss Aladdin, the hit Broadway musical. Playing the Soroy and Peter May 1st through 5th. Get your tickets at broadwayandfresno.com. Vince Spong, experienced, tested, trusted. Vince will oppose new taxes and reckless spending that has caused prices to soar on everyday products for our families. Vince will continue to work to reduce excessive regulations on our small businesses, creating an environment where jobs and opportunity thrive. I'm Vince Spong, and I approve this message because I'll never stop fighting for the Central Valley. Think you know Cuomo? Hey, Democrats, I'm not just singing the woes for you. Well, check him out now. You want to do better? Tell your side of the story better. Surprising. Trump deserves credit. Rethinking. That's what people hate about it. That's why they're so upset with the system. Game changing. We've got to change it. I agree with you. Perspectives you'll only find on America's fastest growing cable news network. Cuomo, weeknights at 8, 7 central, only on News Nation. News for all America. Escape means freedom and adventure. It's in our nature with breathtaking vistas waiting to be explored. 
Escape means something different to everyone. Fun for families, indoor adventures, getting away every day, and excitement every night. Plan your escape to Black Oak Casino Resort. Escape your every day. Car accident? Berg wins. I'm not sure I can afford a lawyer. Berg wins. What if the insurance company offers this, but my medical bills are this? Berg wins. I need somebody to deal with the insurance company. Berg wins. I'm William Berg. When the insurance company tries to pay you less, we fight to win you more. And with our no-fee guarantee, if you don't win, you pay nothing. My wife and I called. My cousin called. My mom called. All right, I'm ready to call. Are you? Call 1-800-400-BERG. KC24 News is always available at yourcentralvalley.com. Grab the keys to a new fuel-efficient Toyota. Let's go! With powerful performance and fewer fill-ups, Toyota has more hybrids and plug-in hybrids than any other brand. Get out there this spring and take on the open road. Get a low $249 a month lease on the sporty Corolla or stylish Camry after $1,000 bonus cash. Or lease a Corolla Cross for just $299 a month. Toyota. Let's go places. This is KC24 News at 6. If you plan to visit the San Francisco Zoo in the future, there will be a new exhibit as part of a diplomatic program with China. San Francisco Mayor London Breed today announced the city will receive a pair of pandas from China as part of Beijing's Panda Diplomacy Program. It will be San Francisco's first time hosting the beloved animals long term, the result of a year long advocacy campaign. It's an honor that our city has been chosen for the first time to be a long-term host to giant pandas. China is home to the only natural habitat for pandas and owns most of them around the world. Beijing loans the animals to other countries as a tool for diplomacy and wildlife conservation. We do have much more coming up on KC 24 News at 630. An improvement in job numbers in Fresno County, where the county stands compared to this time last year. And a jury is chosen in New York for the hush money trial of former President Donald Trump when the historic criminal trial is expected to begin. Grab the keys to a new fuel efficient Toyota. Let's go! With powerful performance and fewer fill-ups, Toyota has more hybrids and plug-in hybrids than any other brand. Get out there this spring and take on the open road. Get a low $249 a month lease on the sporty Corolla or stylish Camry after $1,000 bonus cash. Or lease a Corolla Cross for just $299 a month. Grab the keys, let's go! Toyota, let's go places. Hand in Stone Massage and Facial Spa offers month-to-month -month memberships for deep cleansing, deep relaxation, and deep savings on services and top-of-the-line skin products. Hand in Stone Massage and Facial Spa. Someone ran a stoplight and hit me. I can't afford a new car or a lawyer. Call Dunyon Law. They don't charge you one penny until they win your case. I'm attorney Tom Dunyon. We don't get paid until you get paid. Not one penny out of your pocket. Call me. Let's get started on your case right now. It didn't cost me one penny up front to hire Dunyon Law. And they settled my case for $625,000. If you've been hurt in a car wreck, call us. It's just that easy. Call 877-DUNYON. That's D-U-N-N-I-O-N. The Fresno County Historical Society doesn't just preserve the past, we bring it back to life through photos and stories that connect us all. Your membership allows us to capture and share history every day. Join now at valleyhistory.org slash membership. Rain, rain, go away. Come again to the Tachi Palace the first three Fridays and Saturdays in April. It's a rainfall of riches where you could be showered with your share of over $200,000 in cash. Play with your Premier Club card, earn 100 points, and you could be drawn to win up to $5,000 in cash. Get soaked with cash in rainfall of riches. Only at the Tachi Palace Casino Resort in Lamar. There are trucks, and then there's the GMC Sierra. Available with the connected driving experience. And the world's first six-function multi-pro tailgate. GMC Sierra. 
It's the truck. Or get 2.9% APR for 72 months on select Sierra 1500 models. We are professional grade GMC. Vince Fong, experienced, tested, trusted. Vince will oppose new taxes and reckless spending that has caused prices to soar on everyday products for our families. Vince will continue to work to reduce excessive regulations on our small businesses, creating an environment where jobs and opportunity thrive. I'm Vince Fong, and I approve this message because I'll never stop fighting for the Central Valley. Charger and Challenger, two icons created to own the road. Get yours today and save during Dodge Power Shot Days. Are you smiling because it's Ram Truck Month? Oh yeah, of course you are. Ram trucks are designed and built with style, toughness, and character. Get 10% off MSRP on a new 2024 Ram 1500 or get up to 9300 off MSRP on a new 2023 Dodge Challenger GT. Family owned and operated. Fresno Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram Fiat. with your forecast first from your local weather authority. Meteorologist AJ Fox, we are looking at our live valley cam. This is at Kawea Health in Visalia. If you notice off into the mountains, yes, some clouds that have developed and some isolated showers that had turned into thunderstorms earlier, but now they're starting to weaken for the day. We're currently in the upper 70s to lower 80s. 81 right now in Fresno. Visalia is currently at 83. The live radar does show exactly what I'm talking about, a couple of cells, but they're starting to weaken now as the sun gets a little lower in the horizon. We'll keep it at mostly sunny skies for the weekend. We're going to keep it in the 80s for the weekend. In fact, will approach 90, getting very close to that mark for Monday before things start cooling off through all of next week. I'll have your complete forecast coming up. KC24 News at 630 starts right now. KC24, local news that matters. This is KC24 News at 630. An arrest is made in the fatal shooting of a father of four outside a Northwest Fresno bar and Reedley police identifying the child responsible for kicking and killing a family pet. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Stephanie Berugian. Fresno police have arrested 26-year-old Dominique Jones for the murder of Gilberto Gutierrez that took place at a Northwest Fresno bar. Around 2 a.m. April 14th, police say Gutierrez was shot outside Yule's place at Shaw and Marks after trying to defuse an argument outside the bar. The argument turned into a fight and that's when police say Jones shot and killed Gutierrez. Jones was arrested today and booked into the Fresno County Jail on one count of murder. At some point in time, the uh, particular event became physical, and we know based on the video evidence that um, Dominique Jones armed herself with the firearm and ultimately uh, fatally wounded Mr. Uh, Gutierrez. Jones was arrested today and booked into the Fresno County Jail on one count of murder. We'll have more information on the murder and arrest coming up tonight at 11. Reedley police have now identified the child caught on camera kicking and killing a guinea pig earlier this week in Reedley. They say it's a 12-year-old boy who lives in the area. Reedley police chief says because of his age, the department is still figuring out the best way to move forward. Earlier, we spoke with the owner of the pet about what happened. At uh, first, I was just mad. I just, I, was, I didn't know why they did it. I was kind of shocked too. Police say, though, they have identified the boy. So far, he's not in custody and charges have not been filed. On the East Coast, jury selection wrapped up today, paving the way for opening statements in the historic trial set for Monday for former President Donald Trump. Twelve jurors and six alternates have been selected. Prosecutors say the former president falsified financial records during the 2016 presidential election to cover up hush money payments made to adult film star Stormy Daniels. Trump is denying all of the allegations. Unemployment dropping in Fresno County, according to a new report, the unemployment rate in the county sitting at 9.1% right now, which is down from 9.6% from February of this year. 
We're still up from this time last year when unemployment was 8.5%. A major driver for the decrease was in private education and health services, which added nearly 4,000 jobs since last year. An important day for the Fresno Police Department. New officers and staff were sworn in today, which, according to Chief Paco Balderrama, will help reduce crime and make the city safer. Raise your right hand. <clears throat> Do you solemnly swear to support and defend the Constitution of the United States? The Fresno Police Department adding to its ranks. That you take this obligation freely, without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion, and that you will well and faithfully discharge the duties upon which you are about to enter. I do. I do. 22 officers sworn in, as well as other police professional staff like dispatchers and park rangers. There's other large cities here in California that are 1,200 people short or seven, 600 people short. So here in Fresno, we're, we're very fortunate. The department now has 878 officers. 926 would make it fully staffed, but Chief Balderrama says the additions will make a difference. We're going to be focused, focused on, on auto theft, theft uh, organized retail theft, theft um, Catholic murder, murder theft, theft, and we're already, already seeing some, some declines, declines in those areas, areas. Uh, but, but, but also just, just uh, being able, able to quickly, quickly Crimes. Treat every single person you come in contact with as if it's a loved one in your family. And if you do that, you will have served well. God bless you and thank you. Fresno Mayor and former Chief Jerry Dyer offering words of advice, while the current chief made two extra requests. I ask that you give me everything you have each and every day, and I ask for the next 20 to 30 years. And the chief says 878 officers is the most the department has ever had. After a vote to approve construction of a new Costco in northwest Fresno, some neighbors near Herndon Avenue and Riverside Drive are furious. The council voted unanimously yesterday to approve plans for the new 200,000 square foot store after hearing from concerned residents and the company itself. The site sits next to hundreds of homes and some homeowners say they are ready to move now that the plans have been approved. It's gonna be gone. Uh... The traffic going to be enormous, uh, pollution going to be enormous, 900 uh, cars going to be idling. Costco will have to help pay for upgrading roads and intersections in the neighborhood. They'll also have to pay for several high visibility crosswalks in the area and pedestrian islands. Construction is set to start in the fall and the new store should be complete in the summer of next year. In Fresno, a travel blogger is using her platform to share her favorite local travel spots and her faith. Marco Rosas with more about Cassie Yoshikawa, the founder of Cassie's Compass. Then I was kind of an honor to just see where people have grown up and lived their whole lives with fresh eyes. Cassie Yoshikawa is originally from Oklahoma, and she says that moving to the Central Valley has changed her life completely. People complain about living in Fresno, but when you live in Oklahoma, you have to, like, fly to get to these places that here it's, you know, just a few hours away. Um, so as soon as I moved here, I just, like, started doing as much as I could, as often as I could. She started traveling and documenting everywhere she went. She says her parents' stories about traveling while they were in the military inspired her to travel as often and as far as she could. When I was in Oklahoma, I did study abroad in Italy, and then coming back, I just wanted more and more. So coming to California, it, it kind of catalyzed that, like, okay, I can start with little small adventures, even though I can't go abroad right now, so that's what I started with. And so... Cassie started documenting each little adventure along the way. Cassie started using her growing platform to share her faith and perspective just as much as her travel recommendations. I wasn't raised as a Christian, and so now tying something that's more relatable like travel and adventure into um, how I see God and how I can share about God, it's also been cool, kind of like dual faceted to be able to share about both at the same time. Today, Cassie has over 44,000 followers on Instagram and counting. She says her vlog success has been motivational and takes it as a sign to keep going. Doing it even when no one cared at the beginning to now being able to give recommendations, have people actually value my opinion, what I do. Yeah, has been very humbling and also is exciting. Like it fuels me for the future to like share more and invest more. 
and still to come at 6.30. The annual Fresno State Vintage Days event is back. What you can expect if you're headed to the campus this weekend. Here are the headlines for tonight. The unusual warmth continues through the weekend. A lot of sunshine this weekend. Temperatures getting close to 90 degrees on Monday before the cool down arrives. And that takes us through the end of next week. Your four day allergy forecast is going to be in the high range through Tuesday. Oak, birch and poplar are the predominant pollens. And I'll have your complete forecast as KC 24 News continues. Hi, I'm Fresno Mayor Jerry Dyer, inviting you to attend this year's State of the City Lunch, May 9th at the Fresno Convention and Entertainment Center. The future is bright in the city of Fresno. We're rolling up our sleeves and getting down to business, laying the groundwork for growth that will take Fresno to the next level. I can't wait to see you and share our plans for the exciting things on the horizon. And believe me, the best is yet to come. Get your tickets now at FresnoChamber.com. That's FresnoChamber.com. It's never too late to learn. For 10 years, State Center Adult Education Consortium has been helping students earn a diploma, learn English, enter college, and train for a career. Meet with us and find your pathway to success. For 28 years, we've been building a world-class heart surgery program in Visalia, and we're still building. Kawea Health is excited to welcome to our team the first of three Stanford Medicine heart surgeons living and working in Visalia. Stanford Healthcare and Kawea Health, providing advanced heart surgery where you need it and close to family. Kawea Health, more than medicine, life. There are trucks, and then there's the GMC Sierra. Available with the connected driving experience. And the world's first six-function multi-pro tailgate. GMC Sierra. It's the truck. Or get 2.9% APR for 72 months on select Sierra 1500 models. See your Central Valley GMC dealer today. Vince Spong, experienced, tested, trusted. Vince will oppose new taxes and reckless spending that has caused prices to soar on everyday products for our families. Vince will continue to work to reduce excessive regulations on our small businesses, creating an environment where jobs and opportunity thrive. I'm Vince Spong, and I approve this message because I'll never stop fighting for the Central Valley. Advance your future. State Center Adult Education Consortium connects adult learners to educational programs and services that can help you complete your education and career goals. Meet with us and find your pathway to success. KC24 News is brought to you in part by The Mug, your community coffee shop. Now, AMS certified Chief Meteorologist AJ Fox with your local weather authority forecast. Well, our temperatures today were way above average, like we have been for the last few days. Our morning low was 59, the afternoon high 83. Both numbers above average. We should be in the mid-70s. Of course, we weren't anywhere near our record set back in 1950 of 93 degrees. We're at 81 now in Fresno, 84 in Hanford, 79 in Madeira, Visalia currently 83. Time-lapse photography from the camera on top of our building from just after sunrise until right now. We saw the thin clouds this morning leaving us, and then they were starting to collect over the mountain areas, giving us some isolated showers, but as the sun's getting lower in the horizon, skies on the valley floor are still clear. If we go up into the mountains, Yosemite Conservancy has uh, this very webcam view that you can go to their website yourself and find, but we turn it into a time lapse and we watch the snow continually melt and go away. That's springtime activity happening there. Good news, we've had a lot of snow for the Sierra Nevada, better than an average year, but we still have a couple of isolated pits of showers, according to our live radar in Fresno County, just about gone into Tulare County. We still got Got a couple of isolated dots here. One at the very high elevation, some light rain snow mix, and some uh, areas of rain that are a little bit closer to the border with Kern County. Satellite picture shows that our high pressure is dominating, and that's what's giving us our isolated showers, and it's already starting to collapse in on itself towards the end of the day. We'll get a little wave, according to Futurecast, that'll pass us by tomorrow, and that at the same time, we'll get a bit of a breeze that'll come up. Uh, temperatures are still going to be on the warm side, and we may see another isolated shower or two over the Sierra. Nevada, but very, very isolated. Not too much there. Tonight, an overnight low of 52 in Pixley, 55 in Porterville. 
Visalia and Advert, 54, 53, and 5 points. San Joaquin, Madera, Mendota, Fireball, Dos Palos, Merced, all 52, 51 expected for Los Panos. High temperatures tomorrow, 84 in Merced, 77 in Mariposa, Oakhurst and Aubrey, both 78, 86 in San Joaquin, Selma, 85, Lamore and Hanford, 86, same for Kettleman City, and 85 in Corcoran, 59 in Sequoia National Park, 83 in Delano, Pixley, and Porterville, both 84 degrees. Air quality, we got a little bit of good air quality showing up for Merced County and in Sequoia National Park, but most of the valley is still moderate. Your solar forecast brought to you by Lee's Air Plumbing and Heating. Those numbers are going to stay very high. I like it when our energy savings is above 200%. Your meters should be running backwards very effectively. 58 for tonight. That's definitely an above average temperature. Northwest wind 5 to 10 miles per hour than tomorrow. Breezy and on the warm side, we're looking for a high of 84. And again, that's very, very warm for this time of year. Then we're going to get a little warmer with no breeze on Sunday. Then we're seeing temperatures get as warm as they're going to get this cycle up to 88. And I think a couple of valley spots might actually hit 90 degrees. After that, we're going to turn things around. We're going to drop all the way down to 80 for Fresno. Mid 70s after that, we're going to continue to cool off. Not as dramatically, but it's still moving in the downward direction. 73 on Thursday, 71 on Friday with partly cloudy skies for both days, but staying dry for both days too. Your regional forecasts are available on our website at yourcentralvalley.com. Please go check it out there. A very nice weekend for mm -hmm. us this weekend. N mild. I mean, it's a, you know, 8 10 degrees above normal. But uh, that's still I mean, it's not in the 90s. You can't no. really call it hot outside. It's going to feel hot compared to what we're used to, but, this time of year, but yeah. it's still really nice. AJ, thank you. you. Know. It's Fresno State, a university's biggest student planned celebration. And this year, Vintage Days is celebrating a half century of springtime fun. Our Jason Toktagian reports on all the fun you can expect there this weekend. Whether you're trying to cool down with ice cream or heat up with some hot chicken, the 50th Vintage Days has something for everyone. This is actually our first time um, coming this year. Um, I had heard about it in the previous years, but I never got the chance to come out. But this time it worked out for me, and I'm really looking forward to the food. <laughs> but the food isn't the only draw. A petting zoo, bounce houses, and an assortment of local vendors are just some of the offerings. I was already looking forward to, like, Dutch. <laughs> Um, I did buy this cute pot. I think that's probably like the most interesting thing I bought for my mom. I volunteered with my uh, uh, fraternity for Vintage Days last year. Uh, the difference between this year and last year, I feel like it's a lot more live, a lot more people are here. So I'm really excited for the turnout and it's going to be a great weekend. New this year, a drone light show scheduled to dazzle the sky Saturday night. Fresno Mayor Jerry Dyer even taking to the performance stage for a proclamation to the student committee. We declare today uh, Fresno State Vintage Days in the city of Fresno. I remember my first uh, Vintage Days, 1977. I think it was the third Vintage Day that they had had at Fresno State. So it was somewhat smaller, but it was starting to grow. And for the students, Vintage Days is more than just an annual showcase of their crafts. We're just trying to raise money to be able to do more networking events, to be able to do more workshops so students can benefit from it. Not only is it important for us for fundraising, but it's important to our community just to be able to get together and just have a stronger bond. Jason Toktagian, KC24, local news that matters. And still to come at 6.30, it was a full day of fun at the Fresno Fairgrounds for special ed students. A look at the Kids' Day event and what it means to Fresno Unified students and families. Plan your day with KC Sunrise and KC Midday. We provide the news you wake up to. Well, it could even prevent officers from pulling you over. This investigators can read the search of home next door. Keeping you informed throughout the morning and getting you ready for the day ahead. We're your local weather authority. This is a pair of storms and then temperatures are starting to warm up already and we will be much warmer. Watch KC Sunrise and KC Midday. Weekdays starting at 5 a.m. on KC24. Local news that matters. We want to buy your car. Sell us your car today at FresnoLexus.com. Summer's coming, and your electricity bill will be out of control. Rates are already at all-time highs with more increases on the way. There is a solution. It's solar plus batteries from local and veteran-owned Semper Solaris. <laughs> 
And right now, Semper Solaris is making the switch to solar easier than ever when you bundle solar with batteries or roofing. Get powerhouse savings from Semper Solaris, the number one volume solar plus battery installer in America, and award-winning Owens Corning Platinum Preferred Contractor. One call to one company can save you thousands. Right now, for a very limited time, when you bundle solar plus a new roof, the average customer saves almost $6,000. When you bundle solar plus a Tesla Powerwall 3 and a new roof, you can save an average of over $15,000. Switch to solar. Get two Tesla Power Walls and a new roof, and you could save over $18,000. Powerhouse savings. The more you bundle, the more you save. Protect you and your family from outrageous electric bills this summer. Go solar, plus batteries, and get a new roof from Semper Solaris. Call now. It's time to end things. You're unreliable, and I can't keep fixing you. I want something better and more efficient. It's time for me to move on. Breaking up? Don't settle for an old, outdated air conditioning unit. Upgrade to something better with Lee's Air Plumbing and Heating. When you trade in your old unit, we'll give you $1,000 toward a brand new energy efficient model. Lee's Air Plumbing and Heating. We serve our customers, our co workers, our community, and have fun doing it. Escape means freedom and adventure. It's in our nature with breathtaking vistas waiting to be explored. Escape means something different to everyone. Fun for families, indoor adventures, getting away every day, and excitement every night. Plan your escape to Black Oak Casino Resort. Escape your every day. Men and women both face factors that can impede normal hair growth and trigger hair loss. Well-Rooted Hair and Scalp Clinic has helped thousands of happy patients address hair loss and scalp disorders. Book your free consultation and get your hair loss under control. Scan now for details. Next ET, Taylor Swift's Poetic Justice, her new album, Decoded. It's just a lot of a lot. Plus, Inside the Pulp Fiction Reunion and Shamar Moore talking SWAT, uncancelled. Next ET. Weeknights at 7.30 on KC24. Special education students came together for a day of fun at the Fresno County Fairgrounds. In tonight's Education Matters, Juanita Stevenson reports on why Kids Day means so much to the parents of a special needs child. The Fresno County Fairgrounds became their playground, a fun-filled place for young people with special needs. Our students who come to these events, oftentimes they don't go out into the community. So this is an opportunity for the community to come to them. So they bring their activities, and then hopefully that forms a relationship of trust and security. The Office of the Fresno County Superintendent of Schools has hosted this event for 17 years. Its special education department provides medical and educational services to over 1,500 young people. But Kids Day may be the most fun experience for all of them, no matter their age. Parents are coming here and watching their children interact with their peer group, with their teachers, with their paras, uh, all in the context of fun, which we know children learn by play. Vanessa Merrill Quinn brought her seven-year-old son and says she appreciates the opportunity to have her child interact with others in a safe environment. Well, I love that I could come out here and be around other children that are autistic to see and he could be around the children that are autistic as well and he could see like oh you know it's it's normal there's don't count me as different because I'm normal and I love that they have these events for these children. And as the parent of a special needs child it allows her to share some special time with her son. For Education Matters, I'm Juanita Stevenson, KC24, local news that matters. And still to come at 6.30, a strange new trend showcasing that silence is golden, how the practice of speech fasting is gaining traction, and just exactly what it is. Kids in school bus accidents, tossed around because they didn't have seat belts. Wait till you see what happened to them. There was just glass everywhere, blood. Next, Inside Edition. Inside Edition, tonight at 7 on KC24. 
At Hand and Stone, discover the art of advanced skin care. Revitalize your skin with Hand and Stone's customizable facial services. Harnessing the latest in skin care technology, our Nev Skin Treatment contours and lifts, revealing age-defying beauty. Discover luminous skin with the Pro Pen. Smooth away fine lines with BT Micro's Deep Penetration and achieve a radiance with Diamond Glow. Exceptional facials tailored for you at one of our three locations. Hand in Stone, the retreat for transformation. Accelerated, urgent care, feel better, faster from anywhere. A doctor visit while you're on the go. Telemedicine from your phone. Accelerated, urgent care. Accelerated, urgent care, feel better, faster from anywhere. A doctor visit while you're on the go. Telemedicine from your phone. Accelerated, urgent care. At Donald V. Dick, we aren't just HVAC specialists. We are a certified Lennox dealer. That means we offer the most energy-efficient products on the market with savings you can see and perfect air you can feel. Your comfort is our passion, and we're with you every breath of the way. Enjoy great comfort and lower energy cost. Call Mr. Cool today and save on Lennox with special incentives and rebates from Donald P. Dick Heating and Air, 255-1644. Get ready for the ultimate kitchen upgrade at Cresco's huge four-day expo sale. For a limited time, we're slashing prices on absolutely everything in store. Fryers, fridges, mixers, ranges, grills, ovens, pots, pans, plates, and so much more. Cresco has everything you need to take your kitchen to the next level. Open to the public with live product demos, daily raffles, and giveaways with purchase. At Central Floor Supply, our new showroom is filled with name brand waterproof flooring and luxurious carpets. Like our Mohawk Revwood Select with a lifetime all pet warranty. For the best in flooring and real customer service, visit Central Floor Supply. Ram Truck Month. Whether you're a longtime owner or you're thinking about it, it's the perfect time to test drive a new Ram. Dodge Power Shot Days. Charger and Challenger have their own way of defining power, style, and freedom. Buckle in for the ride. Get 15% off MSRP on a new 2024 Ram 1500. Or get up to 25% off MSRP on a new 2023 Dodge Challenger. Experience the Clovis difference. Clovis Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. KC24 News is brought to you in part by FFB Bank. Next week on Sunrise, it's time to giddy up for the Clovis Rodeo. There's going to be food. You can rope yourself some games and rope a bar full of fun attractions. That's right. All that more coming up next week here on Sunrise. We'll see you back. We're all showing you the rope. A bizarre new trend is gaining traction called speech fasting. It's where an individual does not talk until noon every day. It started becoming popular after a British singer named Lulu revealed she takes part in speech fasting to rest her voice. There uh, actually could be some science to back it up, though. One study found that it helped lower blood pressure and that it could also help reduce the stress hormone cortisol. So don't talk till... Are you... Don't talk till noon. I was gonna say that's we can't do that. I know. <laughs> kind of ruins our is part of the job description, yeah, right? Yeah, but we could maybe do it, try it on the weekend, perhaps. Yeah. See if that helps. I yeah. Okay. Well, let's talk about the weather. Okay, if you fair don't enough. Mind. <laughs> um, it looks like temperatures are going to be very mild for us, although way above average, approaching 90 on Monday, and then temperatures will really start cooling off every day next week, uh, down into the 70s by Wednesday, and we keep going down after that. It, it'll turn around, start coming back. You get spring after all. Yeah, yeah it's still going to eventually warm up and absolutely. get super hot, but right. we can enjoy this while it lasts. Yeah. All right, that does it for us. KC24 News returns at 11. Have a great evening. Bye-bye. focus. That's why we're telling stories that inspire, educate, and promote wellness. Stories straight from our own community. Join us each week for MedWatch Today, Saturday on KC24.
forged in the fiery ovens of the round table. A feast fit for heroes. But only the truly worthy may claim the right to Excalibur's epic pizza. Really? Savor the heroic flavors of Round Table's new Excalibur's Epic Pizza. Our classic three cheese blend, abundantly topped with classic pepperoni, salami, ham, red onions, and sweet tangy banana peppers. Truly a pizza fit for a king. Order online at roundtablepizza.com. Well done, Viv. You got the presents, the balloons, and the raptor cake. Now, how about something to put a smile on your face? Aspen Dental provides complete, affordable care with dentists and labs in one place. Plus, free exams and x-rays for new patients without insurance. And 20% off treatment plans for everyone. Quality care at a price worth celebrating. It's one more way Aspen Dental is in your corner. This is our story. At Fresno State, we're the pride of the valley. And we display it for the nation. That's what Bulldog Spirit is all about. Those who came before motivate us to dream big. We know our potential is limitless because we've seen what Bulldogs can do. Unleash your talent for your family, for your purpose, for yourself. This is where your Bulldog story begins. Chevy offers...